Maybe. Is it like echoey here? Uh, I don't know. It doesn't I think we're good. Anyway, we normally don't make videos like this at all. Like ever. We're just 100% yeah. goofballs because that's who we are. And I didn't think we'd ever make videos like this ever. But we recently just moved to LA and um, well not permanently. We're, we're still living half in New Jersey and half in LA. We just have a house in LA and a house in Jersey now. I've been getting a lot of tweets recently that say why are you guys moving to LA? And don't let LA change you. And like just confusion about the whole thing, like why we're moving and everything like that. So we just want to tell you guys and uh, clear up all the confusion about why we're moving and all the events in our life leading up to why we're moving, like our story. Pretty much Grayson and I, ever since we were kids, we were never quiet. I moved first when I was three years old. We went to preschool, um, everything was fine like at first, but then... This is like preschool, dude, you're like, talking about. I know. I guess... Because Ethan and I were... We've always been the type to like be different and not like be in the same box as everybody else. We like to step outside the box. Our five-year-old selves. Okay, so we're in preschool, everything's fine, and then a couple months in, we developed like a reputation that we were bad kids. Like, when I was little, all I did was care about other people. Like, I was like a really sensitive kid and I don't know, it was just who I... I, I still am. I just cared about like a lot of... What yeah. other people felt. There's me and Ethan, and then everybody else. Like, I want to thank God for giving me Ethan because without him, I would have probably zero friends because we're each other's best friends and at times each other's only friend. I don't even know why our five year old selves were hated in this preschool. The parents threw like a Halloween party for the kids. For our classroom. The class probably had like 35 kids in it. 33 kids went to that party and two kids were not invited and you can guess who those two kids are. Why this happened, I don't know. It's been happening all the time. We've, we've been excluded from other things so we just like to do our own thing kind of and it's good that we have each other. So as the, um, the years went by, we got really into sports and we started playing sports. We were always like the kids who would like score, score the most goals, most touchdowns, whatever. We were, we were always like, because we tried so hard and we, had, we always had someone to practice with that kind of gave us an advantage on everybody else. We would not exclude anyone. We'd always be really encouraging to our teammates and everyone. And for some reason, uh, I guess parents got jealous. They started making up rumors. As that got around, no one wanted to have anything to do with us. Other parents would be embarrassed if they let their kids hang out with us. Why? I don't know. We didn't do anything to anyone. We were just being ourselves. Like, I don't know how someone had the reason to hate on little eight-year-olds. <laughs> little twerps. <laughs> little twerps. Uh, as much as they really did. We were never involved in anything that anybody did because they didn't want to have anything to do with us. Like, our sister was a couple grades older than us. Um, and she was getting like severely just picked on bullied um, like even the boys in her grade would like physically hurt her so then we moved within the first i guess three months we became kind of popular in our town we're very inviting and we're social so like it's, it, it's like, never been a problem to like socialize for us my sister um she found friends here and that made me happy at that point because like i just wanted to see my sister happy after going through some really tough times in the town that we used to live in. But for us, the same kind of stuff that we were experiencing dragged out. We were like starting running backs, uh, captains of the wrestling team. The whole jealousy thing kind of picked back up. Often times, I don't know why this was, like my friends would come up to me and tell me that like their parents hated us. And, and they weren't allowed to hang out with us because our parents hated us. And that's when social media got into things. Towards the end of middle school, we were introduced to social media by our sister. My sister was like, guys, you should just get Instagram, like, it's fun, and I was like, ah, okay. We didn't no, understand we... anything. We, don't, we didn't understand what social media is. No. We didn't understand literally anything about it. And then Vine happened. Eventually, some Vines picked up, and we started getting followers. So it was summer going to our final year of middle school. The first, I'd say, 20,000 followers, everyone loved it. Everyone was so into us making Vines. Right, well, once we started really making Vines and maybe made the popular page, um, people were starting to give us negative comments, like, you guys are wasting your time, like, it's so dumb, like, why do you guys even do this stuff? We just did it because we've always really had a passion for it. Making people Making laugh. people laugh and making people feel good and, yeah. and acting in a way. Um, then, summer going into freshman year, that's when all the negativity really hit hard. It was this popular anonymous, like, Twitter app type thing. You could go on and basically just type whatever you wanted and put it out, no one would know who said it. It would anonymously post. Um, throughout a five mile radius, so it was only like the people like, within five miles from you. It was your town's app. I wasn't on the app. Our friends told us like, like, hey, have you seen um, what people are posting about you on this app? I went on the app on my friend's phone and 
this was like two weeks before high school started. We were going to be freshmen. There was a post that said, um, I can't wait for the first day of high school because I'm going to beat the... I'm going to beat the shit out of like the Dolan twins because I hate them. They're whatever it didn't bother me I wasn't really scared people said we never really let anyone's words get us down because we just never really been the type and we always say something back if someone's got something to say about us that post on the app had over a hundred likes that was so many that meant that pretty much everyone in the town was liking that post and hating against us and then eventually the entire app <laughs> was entirely about hating on us and everything was like the Dolans, Dolans are The Dolans are in for a real treat on the first day of school. The Dolans, the Dolans are definitely gonna hate high school. We're gonna make the Dolans year miserable. Yeah. In my head, it was like, I was like, why, well, why, why do people hate me? They don't even know me. Like, I've never yeah. been to high school a day in my life. Why are you hating me? It was just like really uncomfortable because everywhere we went, we had someone saying something about us, and like, it was just getting old. It got worse and worse. Start people were starting to say things like from far away in hallways. People would film us. People would take pictures of us during school. Twitter was big. Like a lot of tweets about us. Like Dolan's fans are pathetic. Like how could you like these kids? The Dolan. Why do the Dolans even have followers? They're like talentless losers. Stuff like that. And there was often people that we knew were from our school, but we had no clue who they were. They never met us a day in their life. So why are they judging us? This is what really bothered me. Um, of course, I investigated what was going on on Twitter, and uh, I found that. A lot of people that said they were my friends were the people that were favoriting these tweets. It became a cool thing to be against us and hate on us at our school. Literally everyone was starting to do it because it was getting them attention. Once I realized that half my friends weren't really my friends, high school was miserable. I, I don't remember one day of high school that I really liked. Getting used to walking in the hallways and just hearing like, Oh my god Grayson, can, can we get a picture? Like mocking me and like taking pictures and videos of me and like, I kind of just like walked with my head down and, and I didn't listen to what people said. In one ear and out the other because I was so used to it and um, it, it did, it wasn't enjoyable at all obviously. First month of high school, we were down a bunch of friends and school was not at all what we thought it was going to be. We went uh, basically just each other, we would meet up in the hallway and like eat lunch together. Maybe one of, one of our other friends, um, I had like two friends that whole year, two honest friends. Honest friends that would stick with me through all the hate and everything. All of my friends were starting to get hated on because they were friends with me. Of course, like being a freshman, no one wants that. All of our friends kind of slowly moved away from us and weren't our friends anymore because yeah. they were getting hate for it. One of those two friends that we had went to a different school because he was a little, he was younger than us. The other friend that we had, I remember having to stick up for him a lot because he got bullied for being our friend. He was on a sports team and he said the whole entire team talked about uh, us. They were saying, why are you friends with them? These kids are and like he lost a lot of his friends because he was known for being our friend then it got pretty bad our older sister people were mocking her none of the older kids respected us and they were all in her grade and she was losing friends because of us there was eight periods of the day in the hallway between each period I heard at least one negative comment about me I mean like I wanted to leave class but then again like I knew the hallway was gonna be equally as bad one of my teachers um, started saying negative things about me getting the whole class to laugh about it I was looking forward to going home every day and I was just begging my parents, please don't let me go to school. I would miss a bunch of days, it would be really stressful because I try to keep my grades up and I, I was like an A student, A and B student. School was just terrible for us, it was just a terrible time. Yeah. We transferred to an online high school, which is way better for us. Leaving public school helped us a lot, it really did, it got a lot of stress off my back and made me feel a lot better. But um, we still get hated on a lot, especially in our hometown. We went out to eat with a... Uh, my friend and his brother at a restaurant in town there was a dad of a not only a senior of our high school but the dad of a senior of our at our high school uh started trying to like call us names in front of everybody caused a scene at this uh this restaurant and there's times where i'd come home at social media and i wouldn't be like motivated to post anything because i knew that everybody at my school would see it and i didn't want to be hated on for it honestly if i didn't have grayson uh i don't know if I'd still be making videos and everything like that today. No matter what anyone would say about it, it was what we wanted to do, so we motivated each other to keep doing it, and also you guys motivated us to keep doing it. Yeah. Because if we didn't have you guys, high school would have been even worse. I would, um, I don't even know. I don't, I don't even want to think about. We always had you guys to 
back us up because even though you weren't right there, you were you were right there with us. Um, you guys helped a lot with with the stress and hard times we were going through in high school. You guys were our escape. I really believe that you have to go through hard times in order to get to, to appreciate really, to really good times. Everybody had to hate us our whole life for no reason. We don't even know why we didn't do anything wrong to them. Uh, for this many people to support what we do, and I'm so thankful for all you guys, and uh, love you guys. Love you guys too. But now, this is why we're moving to LA. We're moving to LA because there's positive vibes out there. All of our friends are out there. That's where the action happens. That's yeah. where all the good stuff happens for us. I want to say thank you guys for letting us get to this point where we are today. Um, we wouldn't be anywhere without you guys, so we'd still be stuck at school, uh, struggling through those hard times. We also wanted to say for the people that are confused why we're moving and uh, kind of just like, I just wanted to say that no matter where we are, we can be literally anywhere. Uh, you guys are always our main focuses. You guys are always on our mind and um, we won't stop creating content, doing everything for you guys. And uh, it's fair because you guys do so much for us. Just want to say we didn't make this video to make people feel bad for us or anything. We just wanted to tell you guys the situation that we went through and the situation we're in now, why we're moving, why everything's happening the way it is. If you watching this video, if you thought that we're trying to get sympathy or whatever, you can dislike it. I really don't care because that wasn't our reason for creating this video. But thank you guys because you thank are you guys our reason so much for everything and our happiness. We'll see you guys on Tuesday with a little happier video than this. Live life, have fun until then. <laughs> I don't even know. Be nice to everyone because you never know what someone's going yes. through. One last time, thank you guys. I love you. Peace. Peace. <laughs>